Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Leicester City career mode. In the last episode, we started off against top of the league, Newcastle, where we won 3-0. Which then fell off going on to some absolute wonderful games after, where we just played three games and got three wins. With 1-0 against Leeds, and then winning away to Wolves 2-1, which goes into this episode here today. Now, looking at your suggested comments, as you can see, we're in general, so we can actually make some signs. So there might be only about two games this episode today, ladies and gentlemen, because obviously we need to focus on making some new signs for the club. One of the first suggested comments though was Samori swapped with Onana, which I do believe is the Onana from Everton. So we're going to have to look into that one as well. So Barco, our fullback right here. Not really getting much game time, is he? I think that someone got a bit, well, we got a bit confused. We thought he was going to load him out, but he stayed in the team. But as you can see, he's unhappy and we don't really need him there considering we're going to go for some other players as well. We'll get to in a minute. And now going into the transfer hub here, let's have a look at some of the players we have got in here right now. One of them, a new one popping up in the suggest comments, is Antonio Silva, one of the best Portuguese young talents in world football. We could bring him in. I don't believe he's got a game face on this one right here, but in the new update, obviously this is a no to save. He has got, which is very unfortunate for us indeed, but he could potentially be a new signing in the new future in the next season. We'll have to wait and see. Wilfred Singo and also Ismail Assar, two players we're going to definitely go into for here. We're just lost games for EA. We're going to try and go for the right here in this episode here today. We've got Nico Williams, who I do believe I'm actually going to try and go for first. We have a swap deal with Brendan Johnson. This is one man that everyone wants to see. And I'm kind of liking the vibe of Anaki Williams and Nico Williams. The brothers and combined going to Leicester City. So let's see if we can do this here. Obviously, we was thinking about getting Brendan Johnson. And to be fair, it's only 5 million more on the market value. I'm going to throw another 10 mil on. I think that's a fair deal. Hopefully, they can do it right there. Can we get it sorted? And they want a lot more. I'm not willing to go for that, to be honest. Because, well, if we do try and work something out, we might not be able to get the rotational players that we want to get into for this season. I'm going to go with one last offer. I'm going to go 13 million. I think that's fair with also Bren Johnson. Because he is not a bad player. I think he's just kind of falling off. And, well, Nico Williams is just going to be 10 times a player. Is he going to accept that? I don't know what to do here. This is it's tempting. It's very tempting, this. And I think... Right, last one, 14 million, and that's me done. That's got to be it. 8 million to spare. We can sell a couple more players as well. And they have accepted it. There you go. We're going to jump into it straight away, ladies and gentlemen. We wanted to get this player in, and he will come into the team, I do believe. He will be a crucial player. We'll have to change his position to a left winger, which I feel like he should be fine with. Right, fine, he is. That's absolutely fine there. Release cause, nope. We want to do that now hopefully we can get the contract it's actually reduced his wages so there you go ladies and gentlemen our first sign in is going to be a massive one in nico williams he is coming in to join his brother in arms in an aki williams to leicester c one of the suggested comments from a while back is coming to the team let's see if we can bring him in. so here he is then he is in nico williams our new number 18 is in the team we're going to look into some more signs after, but before that, we've got to change the position, change to a left winger, as you can see right there. So that should be sorted. And the reason I say that is because we have got Middlesbrough in the Premier League. So we had to get this game out of the way before we get into some more new signs and potential sales from the team. Adiemi is injured, so I'll tell you what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. We're actually going to do it. We're going to get... Oh, do I do lap D? I don't think we do that, do we? To be fair, I think I'd be very serious. Let's just get Tom Cannon. Look, can't speak today. Tom Cannon in for the rotation right there. So Naki Williams and also Nico Williams with Ferguson up top. The William Brothers for Leicester City. Can they dominate? Let's get into this. So here we have it then. Leicester City against Middlesbrough. Also coming off from the bounce from last episode. Winning three games. Very tasty indeed. But all eyes are on the new signing today in Nico Williams. It's also his brother. We're familiarised with him. And he's very good for us as a rotation of striker. He's a good boy. So Ferguson can he get the shot off straight away? And what a finish that is. I really didn't expect there. There's me talking about the new sign-in. And also Naki Williams, how good he is for the team. And he's just picked up a brilliant assist here for Ferguson. Ferguson's really coming to his own. I'll see the suggested comments as well with Kulimiano. Are you an Oshie man replacing in the near future? Which is a massive levels of buzz from Ferguson. But, I mean, if he's hitting numbers like he is this season and scoring goals like that from an hard angle and defends in the way, why not just keep him? What a start, though. Fair play. So a great start for Leicester City. Four minutes in and Ferguson is on the score sheet already. The Irishman is dominating. But can the new signing get a goal if this is dominant this game here? Jones on the ball here. Twisting and turning. Can he get in front of it? He does. Went from Dancer. But it gets clipped there from Jones. And Matson has to run back to secure it right there. Well done indeed. 
I'm surprised he didn't take a shot there from the Middlesbrough winger. But he didn't do it in the end. Fair enough. Olaza going into the box here. Masvidelli. People comment out in the comments how dominant he is at six foot six. And I can really see it, especially there, just catching the ball. There's a ball right down line. The defence is terrible from Middlesbrough. And it is the new sign in Nico Williams here. Cutting back as well. As well. Goes into Kamavinga. Goes into Kese. And it's 2 0. A fantastic finish from Kese. We've seen in the previous episodes, and he's draining the baby, doing the Brennan Johnson celebration there. Fantastic finish from Kese. There was actually a suggestion as well, obviously going in for a Nana, because obviously we were a backup role, which we can look into there. But what a finish. I mean, this is brilliant from Leicester recently. Four wins on the trot potentially here. Great strike. Well, I don't know what to suggest for Middlesbrough, really. I mean, 2 0 down to potentially a team at the moment who you could say could make a really big turnaround in the Premier League and actually go for the Premier League. I mean, we were not doing too bad at the start of the season, but we had a massive dip in performance and it wasn't good at all. Solette, swinging it over to Max Aronson now, who is, I must admit, I'm going to be a sweet spot for him considering his overall, he's doing really well. And we're through again here. The defence is all over the gaff. And, well, to be honest, I was in a two miles of my own there. I was going to go to the left-hand side, but then I was going to go to the right. And I must have missed that one up there. That's a, I'll hold my hands up. That was my bad right there. Kick goes up from Robertson. We should be able to win this ball down. I mean, it's a mismatch right there. And you can see there. So let catch that quite comfortably. Goes into Nico Williams now, though. Keeps going, to be fair. Look at the pace. Can he assist his brother here? He did great ball. And he does. There it is. The brothers linking up. Well played indeed. I mean, it's an absolute whitewash. Absolutely right, Wash. I mean, what the, the strength as well from Nico Williams to win that ball back after Connor just ran into the player. And the through ball as well. What a ball that is. You expect that ball going to the right, but he's kind of like Kevin De Bruyne it gone from the middle. The overlap and run from his brother. It's a fantastic finish. Pure domination. I can't wait for someone to suggest in the comments that they're not actually brothers. they just got the same surname, but I'm pretty confident they are. But if they ain't, I do apologise. But I'm just going to keep saying it for this episode at least... I guess some confirmation. I'll have to do it after off camera, but he's been brilliant since he's come on. I think it was the right move to swap for Brent Johnson. I mean, when you look at it this way, do you reckon Brendan Johnson can pull off that type of pass? I don't think he would have done it. So I think it's a brilliant improvement right there. Shirky. I mean, this could be an absolute, this could be a record here because at the moment we are just running free. We tried to assist him back there. Couldn't do it. Very five minutes in now though. And well, it's not good at all. Not good at all. It's kind of like the uh, real-life score of Arsenal versus Sheffield the other day where I believe they won 7-0 but scored five goals in the first half. It's a good ball in the back post. No one's marking him. And McGree should have definitely done better there. He had time to touch that down. Didn't take advantage. It's the first half substitution. You know when the AI is doing that. It's not good news. Not a good sign at all. Kamavinga. Normally he gets a goal in these kind of games. Here goes into Kese here. There's a ball through again here. The defence all over the pot. And it's Nico William Jr. He gets a goal on his debut. A fantastic display here. A goal and assist for him. And, uh, well, I think we need to make some substitutions. Give some of the youngsters a bit of a run at the people that don't normally play. Because this is game already. Number two just not marking the run. He's touched it down. He's chipped it past the keeper. Pure domination from Leicester City. What a debut for Nico William Jr. as well. So 4-0, 4-0 in the first half. Absolutely devastating for Middlesbrough. Two minutes added on here. Aaron's does well, but we get the ball back again here. And, well, if we score again here, I mean, that's not going to be good. It could be for it again here. The defence is all over the gaff. It's Williams here. He tries to bounce past Fry, but he can't do it. And it is ending 4-0 in the first half at home. It's kind of like kids versus men here, I mean, to be honest. I mean, that man right there, Nico Williams, well, he'd be sharing a lot of shirts with his name on the back. I mean, it'd be a bit confusing with obviously Williams on the back as well, but 4 0 at half time. Unbelievable from Leicester. <laughs> I'm in danger. So I'm just going to quickly show you now later because it'd be a lot easier for me to really tell you, well, show you now than actually me trying to butcher it whilst we get into the second half. As you can see, I'm making so many changes. By five changes right there. Because, well, why not do it? Let's get some of the other players out. I mean, with no way we're losing this game now. So let's get other people out for a run of their money. Why the hell not? Right. 
Ball gets kicked up there, Christensen. Obviously, like I said, a lot of people said to convert him into a, uh, well, a centre-back, but we've seen how long it takes as well. And also, that's a good ball through there, though. And what a save from Masvidelli. What a save that was there. Should have scored, but we've got one of the best heroes in world football, especially in the Premier League this season. He has been ridiculous. If I don't see his, well, his name in the goalkeeper player of the season in that sense, well... It's a robbery. It's an absolute robbery. Here comes Michael with the Brazilian nightmare. Good touch there from him. Can he find Whitaker? He can. Ferguson does indeed. And Whitaker gets a goal now. The former Plymouth Argyle man gets a goal with a fancy little dance to the home side. Their defence is just absolutely shocking. We're just running for him. It's like I'm playing on bloody amateur. As you can see there, goes into Ferguson, he gets assisted today, and, well, Morgan Waker just slings that into the top left-hand corner. It's a travesty. Goes into Solet, 5-0, I can't believe it. Through again in that gap there, I mean, what is going on with this team? Samori gives it into Waker again, Waker, great save from Roberts this time. And it goes out for a corner. I mean, Kessie's on the corner again, I always bloody keep forgetting changes. Waker's going to take it this time now. Morgan Waker, good boy into the box there, it's up there, oh, and it's just gone past. And Naki Williams could have got another goal today. Also want to mention as well, people suggested to change Ramos into a left back, which I will show you after this game. I do believe I did have a look at that off camera just before recording, and it was about 300 weeks, so I, I don't think it's possible, lads. I will say that there, but if we have to do it, we will. You never know. I don't just see that Mickey van der Ven has gone to Nottingham Forest. I mean, what's the sign that is for them? But that's a that's a weird one there. Why would Spurs let him go? But look at this from Williams here. This is the pace we wanted in this team. He's absolutely gone here. Can he get another goal? And it's six. It's six nil. Number twenty two. I think we might have done the record. Six nil against Middlesbrough to start off this episode today. Wow. Pure. Pure domination. I know I keep saying the same words and same names here, but I mean, I can't help it. I mean, what else can I say? It's just world class from Leicester here. I'm a happy man, let's say that. Still a running through here. I mean, I can. I won't be surprised if some of the middle club lot have left the stadium. I and mean, we all were left to play 3 0. Well played there from Ralph, so Mike on the ball. Can he find through Ferguson? He can. We're not done here yet. We're not done. Kessie swings it over to Matson. Matson cuts inside here. Can he keep going? Smith does really well. Barleza here. Trying to run through. Goes back. Looks like our next fixture is Newcastle again, which I do believe is a cup game. Correct me if I'm wrong. Which, to be fair, considering I only said there's going to be two games this episode, I might play that on the uh, full 90, not a highlight game. But considering we're 6 them up now, good block there from Brad. Concentrate there. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a hard one against Newcastle. They might want to try and retaliate back, so it might be quite a good game anyway, regardless of play on the full 90. Well in there from Kessie, though. Good interception. Michael. Well in there. Lovely little play. Goes into Michael now. We just can't get past Smith, though. It looks like the defence is finally doing well. Stephen Piastri is there. Before we're a Liverpool man, I believe. Bit of a dirty player. Kessie, well done. Could be one more hit. Could be one more... Ferguson, there he is. Can we get the job? He can. It's a late minute goal to secure a 7 0 against Middlesbrough. Ferguson deserves another goal, to be fair, in this game. But I think, to be fair, I would give my match to every single player. But if I had to pick one, it'd probably be a Naki Woods, just due to the fact that I think he's got more goals and assists than everyone else. It's a good little move from him, a little ball roll, plays it in. Ferguson pushes him off the ball and he puts it in for 7 0. Crazy game. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The ref has finally blown the whistle to win this game 7 0 against Middlesbrough at home. A field day for our fans. A nice little Saturday game here for the boys. So let with the captain, led this team out. I mean, we could have probably won this game with nine men, to be honest. I mean, their defence was absolutely honking. Their manager should be shameful, them there. But loads of goals from all the individuals as well. And also Nico Williams having a brilliant day with a goal and assist to his name. With his brother having a stormer as well. Great game. Let's continue on. So as you can see later, on, we have actually sold Barco. He has gone to, I believe, to Bournemouth. Which means we're going to leave a little bit more extra cash to play with. To potentially get one more sign-in 
in this January window. We'll have to wait and see who it is. Let's continue on. So here we have it. And here are the teams. Right, actually, Adi Yemi still out for another five weeks. It'll be nice to see when he comes back. However, though, I'm just going to quickly show you this. I can see Rafael Ramos here. I was suggested to go for a fullback rule, but as you can see, it is a long time, regardless if it's right back or left back. But I'll leave it for it. I'll tell you what, I will apply it. And also, if it gets changed around, we'll also just change it so he actually grows up more in the development plan in, I believe, the growth where we can select one of these. However, we will just stick for it right now. Just going to give you confirmation as well. I know I just said it. But obviously, Barco has left the team to Bournemouth for 5.7 million, which means we have got 10 million in our budget. Which now I'm thinking, who do we get for? I mean, single, I think we can wait for next season. But Ismail Asar, we could try and get him in as a rotational winger. So we're going to try and do a bit of a swap deal here. Because obviously, we haven't got the budget to just pay straight out. So who can we swap through here? I mean, look at this. Look. Shirky, Camavinga, their market value is an absolute joke. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's have a look here. Might not be anyone we can really do, to be honest. I mean, Michael would be silly. I don't think we want to do that. Who can we get for it? I mean, I could do Christianson, but they're saying it again. I think that'd be a staff bit of rotational. Um, I'm thinking, to be honest, Lapti. I honestly, I wonder if I just throw in Lapti. The only reason I say that, oh, they have actually got to accept it. I think this would be a pretty good move, ladies and gentlemen, because we've got Christianson. I know we said we'd convert to a centre-back. However, we've seen it as well, how long it would take. So I think it's dead certain he's going to stay in that role. I'm actually very tempted to do this, but if we're going to do this, I'm going to be very cheeky and ask for just one mil with Lapti. I think this is a fantastic deal for us and they are going to do it. Happy days right there. I might get a bit of a beef in the comments because of this but I feel like this is the right move. I honestly think do, especially with single being a top tier target for next season. I think this will be good. Hopefully rotation we be by in Minnesota. He has accepted that which is very good to see. Uh, we're going to go three years. So we, if in his contract, if he stays here, it'll be 30 which I think will be fine. No one release calls, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We have got it with a nice cup to with 7.7 .7 million to end for this season, pretty much. And well, if also we got to do some contracts, we've got a nice bit of play money right there. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Our last signing made two signings, two wingers, really, in Minnesota. So here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the last game at St. James Park. Normally, we would play this one as a highlight game due to being a cup, but considering we've only got to play two games this episode here today, because also we've made some signings. We're going to play as a full 90 right here. And to be honest, I think I won it because Newcastle are a good team. Yes, we beat them 3-0 last time. But they are near the top of the table of the league. So we want to kind of play them and get past them in the Emirates FA Cup as well. As you can see, new sign is Saw is actually starting this game with the William brothers up top. No folks, this one would have rest him. And also Christensen in right back. Regardless of that, though, the team stays the same. Hopefully we can end on a dub. Let's get into this. Right, so here we have it then. It is Newcastle versus Leicester in this knockout round in the FA Cup. Hopefully we can end this episode on a bit of a high here. But you never know. You never know. Oh, William Jr., stop it. Sends one to the shops there. Well, I've got to be greedy there. I've got to be too excited there and try to get banished for that. Anthony goes into Isaac. Goes back into Anthony. Can get past him there, he can't. That's very unfortunate. Bogard gone through. Dancer does well. Bit of a dangerous pass there, but it pulls off in the end. When he does well, there's a ball over the top, and we're going to let that go because I know for a fact I'm definitely offside there. So hopefully we can just continue with the play and run down this clock to get this game out of the way because I do believe we can beat him. Hence why I've just said that right there. However, Tanani's on the boy. He should be banned. He should be playing. Good chance from Dancer. That's not a foul there. We have to kind of stop the play. There's a ref going to pull that back. I don't think he has. Fair play to the uh, the man in orange right there, the referee. Saw does well. New signing, actually. Good ball back into Saw. Saw can fizz it in. He can. Into Shirky. Look at this. That from the team. Oh, it's a great block there. We probably should have just shot with Anaki Williams. We laid it off for his brother. And, uh, well, it's a good defensive line. We just did too much there. Good ball from Tenali. A big high tempo game so far. Anthony, the one-trick pony, does well. We Trying to just get a leg in front of there. So let does well. Lovely little play so far from Leicester City. Great boy, boy, but too much. Well, we kept it in somehow. Somehow, it somehow was. Quite said does well. But yeah, is that the former Liverpool players? He has Sporting CP now. We been returning back into the uh, Premier League. He must be quite old now. Got to take advantage of that because it's got to be quite slow. Gordon here. Trying to get past the Leicester midfield slash defence. Willock here. 
Twisted and turning again. Gordon goes into Anthony. Good save from Anthony. Double save. The second save he didn't actually mean to make, which is quite funny. But we'll take it. Right. Anthony into Bogued. Does well here. Isaac. Arajo. Isaac. Good save there. Keep it in. We have, but it's somehow falling back to Newcastle. Willock on the ball here. Newcastle looking like a better team. Goes it Anthony. Goes it to Isaac. It's still alive. Oh, well done for the defence again. The fans are going mental away for a, a well, a penalty really, but I don't know what they're thinking. It's a great ball at the top. We won the ball quite comfortably. I get a pass point there. Very experienced defender indeed. Newcastle obviously trying to get some revenge from us. I mean, battering them in the Premier League. They want to knock us out of the cup. Good try, goal! That's really a great save. Corner kick here for Newcastle. Swings it in. No, we don't. He goes short. Fair enough. Really slow there on being telling if he was going to short or not, but it is what it is. Could the William Brothers do well? Not the best there. Raju, fantastic there. Gets them right there. Tonali, he's had a brilliant game, Tonali. He's had a fantastic game. Goes to Isaac, goes into Borgwell again. Go for the shot now. Mazda as well. He's keeping us in it, to be fair. And it ends 0-0. I must say, Leicester City kind of started quite slow. We should have probably scored. But we waited way too much, giving that extra pass to Nicky, Nico Williams there, sorry. But other than that, Newcastle are absolutely dominating us. I mean, they're on the verge of scoring this, so we need to wake up. But noon at the break, I'll let you know for many changes. So here we have a Newcastle against Leicester. Second half this time now, though. No changes from myself. Just going to keep it as it is. We're going to keep Amela Sara on as well. We need to get him a bit more on the ball so we get to see what he offers to the team. Crystal, great challenge there. He's back on the ball now. So, good little play this. All right, okay. Back inside to him. That's a lovely little gap there. We're going to get something now. He cut inside. It's a good ball there to Williams. That's what we want to see. And it's 1 0. It's a fantastic bit of link up. It's a Naki Williams dominating this episode once again, like he has in the past. But however, is Miller Sire, number 29, the new sign in? The suggested comments told us to bring it in. And what a suggestion he was. Little Steph was right there. Little dice, little direct pass. And well, what a finish indeed. Against Nick Pope. Absolutely domination once again. So can we keep out Newcastle from scoring again? Can we beat them in the prep and now knock them out of the FA Cup? Two blows to them. They would hate us right now. But I don't care. As long as we go through, it does not matter. Here comes Williams Jr. here. It's a bit of a switch on, but might get it there. It does. Not the best one. Isaac trying to do that, but solid there. Our defence is silly. Absolutely silly. Our two centre-backs. We could be through there, but oh, we would get behind in there. Reese James does well. Could have gone out to assist there potentially there for one of our centre backs. Willock goes over to Target. Target trying to do something here. Gordon going from Christensen. Does well. There we go. In to Shirky. Shirky does well here. Oh my god, he's gone all the way here, Shirky. Oh, but we put away. Oh, we're still alive. Sard does well. Goes into Williams here. I was going to say, we could have kept going, but for some reason it kind of just drifted more into the player. We went to go for a shot there, but it gets away with it. Gordon on the ball. Still Gordon. Goes into Quetzer. I know I'm quote, Coates, I don't know. I'm butchering that name, I do apologise. Same one minute saying, I'll take a 1-0. I mean, I know that sounds daft, because you wouldn't like to get another go to get the cushion to make it 2-0, but I will take it. I might actually just go defensive and see if we can kind of sit a little bit. Sonali trying to run through here St. James's pass good ball the goal oh, it's gone in it's a fantastic header what a ball that is there I don't know if that's just a, I don't know if that's because I just applied to defensive but I don't think it was but what an in swinger that was there from Tonali I did say it was like a danger to this game great ball and number 25 just leaves him like a salmon and Mazzardelli is definitely not keeping that one should be better marking but it just came in it was a fantastic ball and it's one all now what do we do? I think we need to make some substitutions, but we need the board to go out and play again. I probably should have made it whilst we were loading it into the, uh, well, middle of the pitch again, but I bloody didn't, did I? And that could bite me in the ass. Now Willock on the ball. Going through here, Gordon. Trying to do something here. 
Good ball into Bukwad here. Well done. Good play. Kamavinga has made a run. But can he get in front of it? And I think we are just offside. We're trying to hold it up a little bit there. Evan Ferguson coming in our left wing, which is a bit of a weird one. We'll pair him up top, but if he wants to play, then we could probably switch Anaki Williams around. We'll get the head off there. I don't really want to take the extra time. But can we do something here? Ferguson could be through on this left-hand side, perhaps. Good play there. Still going through here. It's Williams. Can he get the shot off? And he can! And it's 2-1. And I think that's all she's going to write. Well, wrote, sorry, I don't know what I'm bloody saying, but what a finish indeed. This man has been phenomenal since we brought him in. And I do believe there's no second legs. This would be it. We would knock him out. I said we didn't want to go to extra time if there is going to be. Walker Wade comes from Turkey. But we get the go against Nikpa once again. Come on. So what a display once again from Leicester City. This is pretty much five wins in a row now. I mean, I'm going to say it, and I don't want to. I mean, if the points are there, we could go for the Premier League title. Why not? We've got the team to do it. We just can't keep bottling games and win against the big teams. That's what we've got to do. Just like we have done against Newcastle twice now this season in the Cup and the League for this 2-1 victory here today. Well, Anaki Williams, well done to him. Obviously gets the man of the match once again. But Newcastle are out, I do believe, which we will bloody take. They hate us. I don't blame them. Two attempts, two goals for Naki Williams. Two results today. We will bloody take it with some new decent signings as well. What an episode here today. Let's continue on. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to wrap up this episode today. We've got Bournemouth in our next game, who we just actually sold to Barker. We've got 9 million there, so I'll leave that in more suggested comments because we are still in January. So if you do think of anyone that we can get with that price range right there, please let me know in the comments. But not too bad this episode here today. I mean, I'll say not too bad, pretty brilliant. 7-0 against Middlesbrough, one of our records probably broken right there for the most goals we scored in the game in a win as well. And obviously beating one of our rivals in Newcastle 2-1 in the cup. Actually, Roma is lurking in the Champions League. That is going to be very tasty indeed. Looking at the league table now that we are in third position. I mean, like I said, if we just go on a bit of a run now, maybe beat Newcastle in the league again, even Man United, we could go on to win the Premier League. Maybe we won't be seeing some of their new signs next season. You never know, we can go on to win the FA Cup, the Premier League and the Champions League within the all-seam season. We're all still in them competitions right there, so we'll have to wait and see. Could be done within three seasons, you never know. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to wrap up this episode here today. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.